What is up you guys, I'm Just Green, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over my mid-2010 MacBook Pro 17-inch model, which is this guy right here. It's a 12-year-old machine, and if you're looking for a machine to mess around with, maybe you're a Windows user, you've used Windows all your life, you've never had a MacBook before, you've never used macOS, so maybe you, you wanna try that Apple experience. Well, I'm gonna be telling you if this MacBook is worth picking up in 2022. Let's get to it. So for this being a nearly 12 year old computer, the specs were basically some of the best you could get at the time on any computer. It has a 2.66 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor. It has eight gigabytes of DDR free RAM. It uses an Nvidia GeForce 330M graphics card. And these are easily upgradable, unlike the newer MacBooks, which basically Apple doesn't want you to upgrade anything, but you're able to do that with these older unibody MacBooks. And it's really easy to do. Something as simple as an SSD upgrade will make the experience feel like brand new. So if you're going to be using this thing daily, I would definitely advise throwing in a solid state drive in there. It will make things so much faster. As for the weight and size of this thing, this is one chunky boy. It pretty much weighs almost twice as heavy as the new MacBook Pros with the M1 chip. And it's almost twice as thick too. So this is definitely not something you want to carry to college every day. You probably want to go with a smaller size just because it's easier to lug around because this is a big laptop. So taking a look at the side, of course you do have your charging port, you have an ethernet port, a firewire port, you have free USB 2.0 compatible ports, and then you have your audio in and out port so you can plug in headphones or a microphone into either one of those ports. You have this SD card reader. On the other side, you do have a disk drive, which obviously the newer MacBooks don't have anymore because no one uses CDs anymore. As for the display, it has pretty huge bezels for today's standard. It's 17 inches. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. I believe it's an IPS, but I imagine this display was top of the line back then. It's a sharp panel. The colors are nice and vibrant, and it really does still pack a punch, even comparing it with the newer MacBooks. However, it's still not a Retina panel, so it doesn't look quite as nice as the Retina MacBooks, but it's still not too bad. And this MacBook does have a backlit keyboard, which really makes it look premium. It has nice travel. It's got a nice size trackpad. Feels really good to use. I feel like Apple has always been on point when it comes to their trackpads. So overall, the build quality, the fit and finish of this machine is just on point. For being nearly 12 years old, this still feels very premium and modern. You also get some pretty banging speakers. They have subwoofers in them. They really pack a punch. Again, Apple makes some of the best speakers in the game in my opinion, so you won't be disappointed there. Another thing I really do like about these older MacBooks is the glowing Apple logo, which Apple has obviously moved away from this aesthetic a long time ago, but there was just something really, really different about it. it really just made this laptop stand out. It really gave it the presence of owning an Apple product. But this was likely removed due to needing a cutout from the back of the screen, which would allow light to come into the housing of the screen and interfere with the display. So that's probably why they removed it. But it's a nice iconic look that I do miss and I wish they still did it. Another thing with these MacBooks is that you're able to open the lid with using just one hand. So you compare that to a Windows laptop from that time period, you would be lifting up the whole laptop basically and this is a 12 year old macbook as for software this macbook was shipped with mac os x 10.6 snow leopard and i believe it's natively supported up until mac os sierra but there is an online patcher that you can use to get the latest version of mac os on this machine and basically any other macbook that isn't natively supported for whatever version of mac os you're trying to install so i'll be sure to leave the link to that in the description feel free to check that out but as old as this thing is, I probably would not recommend going higher than High Sierra. Throughout my usage of this machine, it just seems like High Sierra is the latest, best performing version of macOS, so I wouldn't go any higher than that if you want a smooth experience. Now, the only problem with that is that some apps may not be supported for an older version like High Sierra. But again, if you're basically using this laptop for browsing the web, then that really shouldn't be an issue for you. But if app support is a requirement for you, I'll probably recommend going with a 
newer MacBook. As for video playback, if you're gonna be watching YouTube or movies on this thing, you won't have any major stutters watching them in full HD, 1080p. There might be a few stutters here and there, but overall, not too bad for a computer of this age. Now, don't expect to be loading up 4K footage on this or anything like that. That's just out of the realm. But with full HD content, you shouldn't have any major issues with playback. All right, camera quality on this 12 year old MacBook is absolutely atrocious. And I imagine the microphone quality is too, but that's expected as laptops don't really get the best of cameras anyway, even till this day. The newer MacBooks with their cameras aren't really that much better, but this is still terrible to say the least. Now, while I did say at the beginning of the video that you shouldn't be gaming on this thing, I've included a gaming test anyway, because I know there's probably some of you who are very curious as to how this thing would handle games. So just for fun, it clearly has trouble handling my Roblox game. And yes, this is my game that I created myself on the Roblox platform. I will leave the link to it in the description if you're interested. Definitely go check it out. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, gaming is not something you want to do with this MacBook. So that's out of consideration. This is really only something you should be using maybe if you're a college student like me You just need a laptop to get you through school do some documents things like that high resource intensive tasks are just overkill for this 12 year old computer now I've also looked up Geekbench scores for this MacBook and it's no surprise that it just gets absolutely annihilated by the newer MacBooks in terms of raw performance. So we're talking the newer MacBooks just walk all over this thing in single core and multi-core. I mean, that's expected. It's a 12 year old machine, but this was a high end laptop when it first came out at, at the time. Now I will say when I did buy this MacBook about two years ago, I purchased it for $300 on eBay. But nowadays I would say don't pay more than 150 for one of these because for a little bit more money, if not the same price, you could get a newer machine and you'll have an overall better experience. You'll have less issues when it comes to software support and app support and, and things like that. But if you find one of these for really cheap, maybe like 90 bucks on eBay or something like that, if you're just gonna use this for simple daily tasks, not a bad choice, but just don't overpay for one of these. All right, so that is my review on this mid-2010 17-inch MacBook Pro. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me a lot. If you have any questions regarding this MacBook, feel free to ask me those in the comments too. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.